WFTV Tonight. First here tonight at 11, WFTV Tonight is digging into the potential implications of that abortion proposal. Good evening, I'm Darlene Jones. And I'm Martha Sagowski. With a Republican supermajority, it is likely to pass, shortening the window for legal abortions in our state from 15 to 6 weeks. There are exceptions like rape and incest. However, critics are concerned about what would be required to prove them. The measure would require a variety of police and medical records, something advocates say a lot of victims just don't have. Ashley Edlin spoke with organizations on both sides of this issue. She joins us live in the studio. And Ash, this new bill is already getting a lot of support from lawmakers. Martha, advocates, including Governor Ron DeSantis, say this bill is a step in the right direction. However, critics say it will only create confusion and barriers for people who need care. People on both sides of the issue tonight. I think it's very common sense. Reacting to proposed legislation introduced today that would limit abortion access to six weeks of pregnancy. This will increase barriers to care and continue to cause confusion. Sylvia Gazarian is the executive director of RAP, the Women's Reproductive Rights Assistance Project, an organization that works directly with clinics, doctors, and hospitals on behalf of patients to fund abortions and emergency contraception all across the U.S. We post questions to them tonight, like would a six-week abortion ban give women little to no time to make decisions? And do most women know they're pregnant by six weeks? We will see a lot of people, obviously, who will have to go through a pregnancy that they don't want, and that is detrimental not only to them, their families, their health. Any sort of ban, whether it's six weeks, whatever it is, is going to cause detrimental effects. On the other side, a nationwide grassroots organization. I don't think that changes at all our view that when a heartbeat is present, there is there's certainly life there. Uh, and that is the act of abortion after six weeks, we know definitively and the beating heart of another human being. President Kristen Hawkins says she feels like this was a step in the right direction. We were actually at the state capitol today advocating to see a Life at Conception Act also introduced uh, because we feel that, you know, science is on our side. We posed the question, does your organization feel this could be a major barrier to critical services for women in Florida? Well, the question is, how do you define critical services? I don't think ending the life of a unique human being uh, is uh, a critical service. Along with the six-week ban, this would require abortion medication be prescribed in person only and bans the shipping of the medication. Telehealth has been an important and essential aspect of abortion care for many patients. Um, in fact, over 66% of the patients we funded were able to utilize the abortion pill. Now, the six-week ban would also include exceptions for abortion if the pregnancy puts the mom at risk or would leave the baby with fatal abnormalities. Live in the studio, I'm Ashley Edlin for WFTV Tonight.